Hey everybody, Breffer and Stars Gaming here, back with another episode of our Bounty Train Let's Play. So we've got some trading to do, and I think now that we've got a significant amount of money earned, um, we're going to try to expand our uh, our route here a little bit. So I'm going to try to open up maybe Richmond, because that's fairly close to... Actually, we need to get Washington still even, so we'll probably do either these two, or maybe Utica and Buffalo. Um... Although, if we did Buffalo, I'd probably want to unlock this one as well, so we get all three of these. We'll see, though. We'll, we'll unlock something today um, and check out some new cities. Uh, but before we do that, I just want to remind you guys to go ahead and like the video if you want to see more Bounty Train. And don't forget to subscribe as well so that you can follow along with this series as well as many of the other series that I've got going on. Alright, so we are in Philly. Uh, let's take a quick look at what we've got going on in Philly, and then we can decide where we want to go from there. Okay, so it looks like we have a whole bunch of alcohol, which I think we can sell here for a pretty good price, if I recall correctly, because we should have bought this in New York. So, yeah, we can sell it for a whole lot of money. Perfect. And then where were we taking you to? Oh, did I forget his luggage again? Pittsburgh, okay. Yeah, it looks like we missed somebody's luggage here. Great, so we have to go back and figure out where the hell we left it. Um, I really don't like this mechanic. I keep having issues with it because, honestly, like, sometimes it'll just dump it here, and it's, you know, I don't immediately notice it. I wish it would just not let you take on the quest if you didn't have room for it. That would be a little bit easier to uh, follow. Let's see, why don't you get in there as well? So, what does Philadelphia have for me? I think cotton was their best export. Um, let's see, if we're going to do that though, we needed two more pieces of luggage. Yeah, obtain two passenger luggage. And. So, I have one of them, it looks like. Because he didn't have any luggage. Yeah, so let's leave one spot open here. If we have to, we'll sell some of this off. But we need to head back, unfortunately, and see where the heck I left this stuff. Um, where are you guys all headed? Indianapolis, not likely. Chicago, we haven't been there yet either. Utica, we really need to open up Utica because we've had so many people headed there. And then the depot, you guys were nice enough to remind me that I can um, hit the next button and cycle through different cars that are available. That looks kind of cool. It's just a bigger passenger car, I guess. Um, another bigger cargo car. I don't know that we have enough horsepower for a bigger train yet, though. Ooh, what's that? Okay, that's a bigger caboose. So that would allow me to bring four guys along. This thing is beat to hell. We need to replace it or fix it soon. Um, and then that's the only engine available. I do, I do like that engine. It's just way too expensive. Okay, so that was Philadelphia. Let's head back to New York and um, see if we can't find this guy's luggage. Actually, okay, well, we definitely didn't leave it here. Okay, New York, here we come. If nothing else, at least we can sell our cotton here for a decent price. We may have to go all the way back to Boston, though. Okay, so let's basically double our money here. That works for me. And we'll grab some more alcohol in just a second. But I do not see any luggage sitting around. That's not a bad engine there either. That's still a significant upgrade from what we have, but it's still, you know, very expensive, so I don't think that's going to be my next move. If anything, I might do another cargo car. Um, let's see. So, nine tons. If we did that, that would put me at like 34.6. No. What is it, nine exactly? Yeah, it was 9 exactly, so it would put me at 34.7. So, that would leave me about 5 tons 
for cargo. That might actually hurt me because right now we can fill this thing up, you know, to the brim, no problem. But I think if we have the extra cargo car, we won't actually be able to use all of the slots that we have available, so it may not make a difference. Okay, it looks like we're headed back to uh, Boston. Actually, if we go to the station, is there a way for me to, like, click stuff around? No, so I have to do it in here, I guess. Okay, alcohol. Where are you? There you are. Give me... Well, you know what? If it's not here, we may as well take a full load. And let's get some coal as well. So let's see if I drag this out. No, just move the one. Wait, I don't want to sell it. Okay, let's try it from this menu. Yeah, I don't see the luggage anywhere, so... Um, anything here? Supply food to New York. Okay, that's actually not too difficult, but does it pay... No, it really doesn't. So it's not worth filling up the two extra slots. I can make more profit just running normal goods. Uh, what about the post office? Um, five days and one hour to get something to Utica. I don't think we have time to do that, though. Okay, well, let's head back to Boston, where hopefully we can find this guy's stuff. Um, no, we don't have time to stop. Okay, what can I sell this for? Yeah, that's good, I'll take that. Alright, any stray luggage laying around? I don't see it. Normally it's like sitting right here in the market, so we might have to go all the way back to Portland, which really sucks. Let's see, oh, we're almost at 3,000. We're doing pretty good here. Um, the, oil here the oil here is very cheap, so I think we'll do oil. Yeah. I mean, everything else seems to be, well, oil and food. But I think we can turn a much better profit on oil. Granted, uh, we won't be able to sell it for much in Portland, so we'll have to keep it with us. Meaning, I should probably only buy six. Um, let's take a look at the depot. So that's the same engine I already have. What else? Oops, wrong button. What else do they have? A really big cargo car. How much does this guy weigh? 12 tons? I could do another smaller one like this and expand it. That's 9 tons though. The other one would have been more cost effective. Actually, the other one was more expensive though. I'm not sure. We're, we're turning a pretty decent profit as it is, so let's make some more money before we make a decision. Maybe I'll leave that one up to you guys so you can tell me what you think. Um, I'm leaning heavily toward more cargo because that seems to be the most profitable. But if you guys think another or newer engine would be better, we can do that. Or maybe uh, a bigger or just upgrading our current caboose to bring on um, you know, more, more help might be good as well. But uh, I'll let you guys decide that one. Let's check out City Hall. Oh, they're not open yet. Um, let's just get back to Portland and see if we can find this guy's stuff. Okay, go, go, go. We, yeah, I was going to say, we probably weren't going to make it in time. Okay, I don't have anything. Well, unfortunately now we came all the way back to Portland for no reason. So, it wants me to deliver food to New York, but I don't have this space. Um... That actually wouldn't be all that difficult, though. Because we could just buy it in Portland on the way there, but I'd have to sell the oil here, and I think we'd lose money on that. Yeah. So, no, I'm going to skip that one. Where are you headed? You're headed to Boston. Do you have any luggage? Yeah, I'll give you a ride, but... Now I gotta make sure, yeah, obtain passenger luggage, so let's find his crap. 
Um, oh, we already obtained it. Perfect. So I guess it took the spot of the other guy's luggage. But there's more luggage here, so what does that mean? Whose luggage is this, I wonder? Shoot. It says we have his luggage. I'm going to assume that we do. I know that's a bad assumption considering my current track record, but we seem to have his luggage. I'm going to assume that that's the other guy's luggage. Um, I guess we'll know as soon as we leave. I'm going to check right away, though. That way, when we get to uh, Boston, we can come right back if we need to, but I don't think we will need to. Okay, first things first, we'll head to Boston. And then I think we're going to make it, make our way back down to Philadelphia. From Philadelphia, we'll go to Pittsburgh. And then from Pittsburgh, what we'll do is we'll backtrack north through Buffalo and Utica and unlock those rather than um, taking our usual route back. All right, to the market. What was that about? Okay, so that one's done. We can cross that off. And we've got the oil. Let's take another piece of coal there. And I don't see anything special here. I mean, we just looked at that, so I imagine it didn't change. He's headed to New York. That's perfect, because that's where we're headed. Did he have any luggage, though? No. Cool. So, what about City Hall? What do you guys got? Supply textiles to Boston. Or... Secret message to Philly in five days. I mean, we're headed there anyways, so let's accept it, but I don't think we're going to get very much money from this. Okay, New York, here we go. Um... I can afford to just pay them off, but I think you guys would rather see some combat, and I don't really mind fighting him, so let's do that instead. Okay, and so you guys were kind enough... Oh, never mind, it's not going to matter, because we've got a barricade. But uh, you guys did point out that... Um, God, I'm carrying oil. This thing's going to go up in flames, isn't it? You guys pointed out that when we're doing the runaway missions, we can... Uh, blow the whistle to scare the horses and so that's something I should do in the future so Walter's here Erasmus why don't you get to this opening and August is back there Horace I want you where you're safe Ezra you can hide in here too just get over there we'll have you put out fires okay that's bad. They're throwing like grenades or something at me. Okay, he's down. Or I'm sorry, they're arrows, never mind. I thought they were like tossing grenades. That would have been a lot worse, especially considering all the flammable materials on board. Hopefully, uh, this is all we have to deal with. No, nope, there's more coming. We should probably start focus firing because it doesn't seem like we're doing all that well against these guys here. Um, let's see, yeah, just deal with him for now. You're getting beat up over there, I need you to move. Oh, you're gonna get dropped, unless you move back or something. Okay, he's down. Why don't you move back over here? Oh, we got a fire. Can, uh, Horace put that out for me? I'm going to leave him in that window. I think he's a little bit safer there. At least it seems that way. Can you help him out? We're having a hell of a time getting this guy. Walter, why don't, let's focus fire. I think focus firing works a little bit better. Although they're all behind cover, so that makes it kind of difficult. Let's see, he's almost down. Oh, we got dropped. Um, something just broke. That's not good. You guys are still shooting here. Unfortunately, August is dead, so we're going to have to hire a new uh, 
a new guard for this train, which is not a purchase I wanted to have to make, but we're going to have to make one. We're just getting beat up right now. Can you put that out? Ezra, maybe help him. Walter's getting beat up now, too. I'm going to get Walter behind cover here. Erasmus. Let's get you. Ah, oh, we failed, really? Let's uh, restart the battle. Let's try that again. So we're going to hit the barricade in just a second. Walter, I need you behind cover. Uh, August, I'd like you behind cover as well. Right there is fine. Horus, uh, let's get you to relative safety. And then Erasmus, let's get you into a window as well. Ezra, I'm going to put you here. Okay, hopefully we live a little bit longer in cover. Why aren't you shooting? Can you not shoot from there? I guess you can shoot from here. I just don't like how exposed he is right there. Maybe, here, let's deal with this guy since he's pretty weak already. Come on, we got him. They keep missing. Come on, you got this. There it is. Okay, let's uh, help August out now. We need some shooting on this side. Erasmus, I don't know what you're shooting at. Fire at that barrel, see if you can blow them up or something. I don't think those are flammable, actually, so start killing these guys. Do we have any fires? Horus, can you... yeah, put that out. Because that's oil. Maybe he already did. Oh, August is down. I guess I should have seen that coming. No, I need you to kill the weak guys. If they're already weak, just finish them. I'm, I'm curious how their arrows are setting my train on fire. Like the gunshots I sort of understand. I mean, not really. It's not like the movies where everything just bursts into flames when you shoot it, but the arrows make even less sense unless they're like flaming arrows or something, which it sure doesn't look like. You're soaking damage for me. We really need to do some repairs. That's what we need. You're shooting him. Maybe you shoot him as well. Now, there's just so many. Like, if we weren't so badly outnumbered, it wouldn't be that difficult. It's like they have better cover that's more or less indestructible. And then, uh... They have huge numbers advantages. Horus, I wish you could do something for me. But at least they're shooting at you and not my my other guys, so that's fine, I suppose. Yeah, put that out. And there's another guy down. Looks like we have four left. Is there another guy back there? There he is. Um, let's see, if Walter gets dropped, we lose, so Ezra, why don't you stand in this window and uh, see if you can eat some damage for me. Are you not shooting? Okay, well, help him out then. That'll leave us with two enemies left, which, uh, ooh, we need help. Okay, well, Ezra Sharp isn't going to make it, but that's fine. I probably, yeah, I just, damn it. Um, I'm going to just load this game. It doesn't seem like we're capable of winning this. But um, if we run into this again, I'll probably just pay them off. Because just losing one of the passengers cost me more money than it would have cost me to just tell them to leave me alone. Uh, let's see, where did we last leave off? I guess this one. I haven't saved in a while, unfortunately. Okay, so we're back in Philly. And I think we need to sell off some alcohol. Let's go ahead and do that. And then, uh, now that we know 
that uh, which passenger was it? We now that we know his luggage is all the way back in Portland, we're not even gonna bother. We're just gonna head forward instead, and so we'll buy some cotton and maybe one thing of coal. But yeah, we're not gonna bother heading back now that we know. So, thought they're not open yet. Let's just make our way down to Pittsburgh. We'll deliver this guy. And then I think we'll open up some new, uh, we'll open up some new spots, like, uh, Buffalo and Utica. Alright, so let's head west. And I think we need to start upgrading the durability of some of our cars as well. I think that's another issue that we're having. Okay, so back to the market, let's get rid of all this, and you know what, if we're going to fail that anyways, let's just get rid of his luggage. I think steel is going to be our best choice here, although the alcohol is fairly cheap, surprisingly cheap actually. Although we, the, th the issue here is that we haven't been to Buffalo yet, and so we have no idea what kind of profits we can turn there. I'm going to grab steel because I think steel is ridiculously cheap here. And then food actually isn't all that expensive, but I can't carry enough of it. Let's see, tobacco. It seems like prices are actually fairly, well, they're pretty average here, I guess. Uh, either way, let's get some more coal. Oh, I can't carry any more coal. That damn steel is too heavy. Let's maybe look at an engine upgrade. That's a really nice engine right there. Um, so if we take some more engine power, how much more weight will that let me carry? It doesn't say. I'll upgrade anyways. And let's see, okay, that put me to 41, which isn't a huge jump, but at least it's something. So if I load this all the way up now, I still can't, okay. Uh, at least I can get more coal. Let's do... I mean, we'll just do one. And then what can I take that will not fill this up? Medicine? Yeah, that works. Is $50 a good price? Uh, sure seems like it. Uh, actually, no, it's fairly average, although it is cheaper here than anywhere else, so maybe we'll get lucky in Buffalo. Okay. Right, so let's unlock this. It's going to be 300 bucks, but it's uh, money that we're going to have to spend. And then hopefully we can make enough money in Buffalo to cover unlocking the Buffalo-Utica route. I'd like to... Ah, oh, this again? I'm just going to pay him off. Um, no, we don't want to bother with that. I'd like to unlock this route as well so that we can cut through back and forth at any point. Okay, first things first here. Let's... Uh, oh great, steel's even cheaper in Buffalo. Well, at least we can make a profit on these. That's not bad. Yeah, that sucks, though. I was really hoping... Oh, a Gatling gun. That's awesome. Two of them. So I could put one right here and just unload on people. 800. That's so tempting. Uh, let's see. I think we're actually out of time, so I can leave this to you guys. Um, do we spend our money on a Gatling gun? And if we do, where do we put it? I think, like, here or maybe in the window would be cool. This is probably better, because at least here we can put our guys in cover. But, uh, it kind of sucks only being able to put it on one side, although I suppose I can move it around, just not during combat. But yeah, you guys will have to let me know if I should do that, or if I should purchase another car or something. Um, and then plan for next time is to head to Utica, sell off as much steel as we can, well, you know, all the steel, and then uh, 
just keep trying to make some profit as we slowly expand out further and further. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some bounty train with you. I'm slowly learning the ropes in this game, although I keep making one boneheaded mistake after another, so hopefully I can, uh, you know, learn the ropes and stop making stupid errors that are, you know, costing us. But uh, yeah, thanks for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode.